this out. That's Trending with JJ. Online now. JJ's That's Trending is powered by Midwest Kia. Big Pharma and bankruptcy goes under the microscope as the U.S. Supreme Court will hear oral arguments today on the legality of a wide-ranging settlement at the center of the country's decades-long opioid crisis. The 2023 college football playoffs unveiled yesterday has number one Michigan taking on number four Alabama in the Rose Bowl on New Year's Day. Number two Washington gets number three Texas in the Sugar Bowl. The selection sparked controversy with undefeated Florida State left out at number five. Closer to home, KU is headed to the Guaranteed Rate Bowl against UNLV on the 26th, and K-State plays the Pop-Tart Bowl on the 28th against NC State. Things are escalating in the Middle East. Ballistic missiles fired by Yemen's Houthi rebels struck three commercial ships Sunday in the Red Sea while a U.S. warship shot down three drones in self-defense. The Iranian-backed Houthis claimed two of the attacks. Every time a string of Starlink satellites go overhead, social media explodes with UFO sighting videos. Well, expect more of those as Amazon plans to use rival SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets to deploy the first batch of its space-based internet satellites. SpaceX operates competitor Starlink, which already provides near-global coverage. And a 35-year-old man from Vietnam who suffered intense headaches for five months discovered that he had chopsticks stuck in his brain. The man recalled he had been in a drunken fight five months earlier when he first noticed the symptoms. He added that he doesn't remember much of the fight, but he did at one point get stabbed in the face with something. To make matters worse, for the last five months, all he could smell was spicy tuna and wasabi. And that's trending.